Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to do a bit of storage stuff. Uh, I've decided that we're going to try and get rid of these barrels and go for something a bit more manageable. Uh, in this pack it's quite hard. We can't get to applied energistics really quickly. I'll probably do some uh, logistics pipes at some point, uh, which leads me quite nicely to this mod called Storage Drawers. Now, Storage Drawers are very, very similar to barrels in that, as you can see, I've got these two here that I've you know, prepared, here's, here's two I've prepared earlier. Uh, I've swapped my cobble and my dirt into these. Uh, they have this lovely trim of obsidian around them because I have the five times base value upgrade installed on them. Uh, you don't need to put all these other ones in as well. You can just put straight, straight to the five times one. Uh, they keep their contents. As you might notice, they don't have any of the counts on them though, which is a slight problem. Uh, these are from my old uh, barrels. Now, there's this stuff called packing tape. Now, packing tape is really interesting because you can put packing tape on these. Actually, that used quite a bit of the packing tape. And then, oops, still getting used to this. Uh, so doing a sash, it's pretty, pretty fast. So that one there, done. It tells me, doesn't tell me what it is, just says the contents are sealed. So you have to be wary of what it is. But when you put it back down, the tape disappears. And there we have that. So we can left click, get ourselves some cobblestone, right click, put it back. I think the default behavior is actually shift click to get a stack, but uh, it looks like the modifications have been made to the config file that lets us, uh, lets it behave the same as Jabber for this pack. Let's just put the other one back. Now, the reason that I'm really going to prefer these over, oh, look at that. Don't they just look so cool? All right, so the reason, there's a couple of reasons I'm going to prefer these over the barrels. Now, the first one is for the smaller stuff, you've got these really awesome eight stacks per drawer, uh, four drawers. So in the same one block, you'll end up with four little drawers around it, uh, or you can have the two drawers version uh, above and below drawers. So for things like, I don't know, maybe my uh, quartz, I'll have two drawers, one for normal and or one for certus and one for nether. Uh, Coal, a lot of coal, I'll probably put that in a single drawer. Uh, definitely a single drawer for things like wood. Uh, ingots, probably double drawers. Uh, that'll at least halve the space that we're using here. Um, even glowstone and redstone, potentially. Oh, there's 33 stacks there, I might have to put it in a single drawer. Uh, but you get the idea. We can, we can actually compress our storage space. Downstairs in this bit that I've hollowed out here as well. I'm not sure if I've been down here on camera yet, but down here I'm going to put more storage. I started doing it with barrels. Uh, I'm going to go to drawers instead. Um, as you can see, I've made myself a my own version of the uh, Tinker's smeltery there. Um, so yeah, and that will probably be. Well, here's the drawer. Here's the ones above. Are just here. So. So one of the reasons is compact storage. Uh, the second reason I'm going to use these is because of this block here called the draw controller. Now the draw controller is really interesting. The draw controller lets you see only need the two by two. Uh, the draw controller lets you connect to any connected inventory. So or any connected drawer. So we can put the controller say underneath somewhere or linking the above floor with the below floor. And then all I have to do is I have to come up to the controller just double right click it and every single thing in my inventory that can belong in a drawer will go into a drawer. Uh, it'll only do drawers that have already got something in them though. So that is a key thing. So you don't accidentally drain your whole inventory into, uh, into the empty drawers. Now the other advantage of that controller is that you can integrate, uh, interf interface, integrate, interface or integrate with it, uh, with the logistics pipes. So you can potentially plug logistics pipes into it and then have, uh, like all the items being dumped into it, or you can put a request pipe on the end, uh, and request stuff out of it. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. It sounds a whole lot better than having to pipe every single barrel though. So I'm definitely going to give this a go. Now, you might be wondering about these counts and how we're going to do that. There are also some upgrades for that. So there's a thing saying this shows whether it's full and there's also a fill level. So the fill level is a template, some comparators. Uh, let's actually just make some of that now. So we're going to need a few of these. Oops, I was making some upgrades there. Uh, so we're going to need a few of these comparators. So let's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's, two, three, four. 
Ah, how do we make them again? Uh, nether quartz, in the middle, and some smooth stone. Sure, that'll give me four of these. Now, we need... Cool. And we'll just throw those in there. Grab these two. So I'm going to want to make a lot of these probably because when we put that on there, you just have to right click with it in your hand and right click with it in your hand. And you can see down the bottom there, there's a little fill bar. It's not overly clear, but there's the little fill bar. Still looks pretty cool though. Now I'm not sure if we can get a count. Consumer key, show or hide labels. Oh, maybe we can do the lock key. I know, let's try. Try all the things. <laughs> try all the things. So we just need to... That there, the gold there, another one of our upgrades, and there's our draw key. So that locks and unlocks. So if we right click, locked, unlock. Cool. So we can lock those two, which I presume... Yeah, so it just means it locks it to that item. It doesn't mean you can't take stuff in and out. I like the fact that they're locked. So the concealment key needs... Ooh, an eye of ender. But that's okay. We can, we can probably spare an Eye of Ender at this point. Okay, so when we use this on them. Ah, so that shows or hides the actual type of item that's in there. We probably don't actually want the concealment key, to be honest. Bit of a waste of an iron ender, that's okay. So that's gonna be what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna run away and do a bunch of this off camera because I wanna convert heaps of these drawers. I will be back uh, with a bit of a cut to show you the finished product and show you how this uh, this draw controller interacts with it. Uh, and then we should be done for a nice quick sort of storage episode. So see you in just a minute. Okay, as you can see, we are back and this lovely wall of barrels has now been replaced by a much more compact set of storage drawers. Quite liking the way these look. Um, put indicators on most of them. I don't really care about the nether rack and the, um, the soul sand. Got three extra, sl extra empty slots up there. Um, empty slot here for something as well as another three, a couple here. Not sure what I'm gonna put there yet. I need to put some more barrels in here as well. So. One of the things I did discover though, I did have to make myself another draw key and to lock these drawers. With this one unlocked here, what was happening is, as you can see, we've hooked up my, uh, my farm output into the drawer controller. Now what it was doing is it was just slowly filling up these other drawers with wood as well, uh, which I didn't really want it to do. So there is the unfortunate side effect of having to lock every single drawer. Uh, I can manually put something into that drawer, but once I've put it in, that's locked to that item. I mean, of course I can unlock it and then remove the item, but if I unlock it, I've got to probably disconnect the farm just because the farm's going to just start pumping wood into these things as soon as I unlock it. So that's behavior that's a little bit different to what I've read about. Um, I had read that this thing will only put stuff into slots that, uh, maybe it's only if you double right click. So let's, uh, let's show you that actually. So I've got some gold, some copper on here. Let's grab some, I don't know, some charged quartz, some of that, some redstone, some of that. So we've got a bunch of things in here. What we can do is double right click on the storage, uh, on the drawer controller, and it's all gone. It's put everything back in the right chest. So it hasn't grabbed any extra stuff from me and put it in these empty drawers, uh, which is good. Uh, but it seems that the automation will put stuff in there if you're not careful and lock everything. So um, all well and good though. I'm pretty happy with this result. I can. I'm gonna to have to put some more drawers up here, um, store some more things in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there. Maybe, I mean, I tend to use the more common stuff, the things that I'm about to dump in there. So anyway, I think that's probably a very good time to stop this uh, quick little episode. My storage is way better now than it was before. And I've got the first beginnings of being able to maybe automate some stuff, uh, hopefully with um, logistics pipes actually. So anyway, that's all from me. As always, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.